Kevin, it's great to see you again. Basically, you're starting yeah. to look at these uh, sell-off names, and, and what do you like? Well, there are, I have to set the table by saying we're coming into this year with record high valuations in many areas. You've got a stock market trading over $50 trillion. So the forward look on returns is going to be low. And at the same time, you're putting the brakes on a lot of fiscal policy and monetary policy programs that are just not appropriate anymore as we move into beyond the pandemic. So ultimately, what we want to do is own very high quality companies and not necessarily tech unless we can buy it at the right price. The four names that I would offer up for today would be names like uh, 3M, Target, Oracle, uh, all of those all of those are names, if you look at them, that have really good balance sheets, very low debt, lots of stability in the profitability, and very predictable. So we think the market is a riskier place than most people realize. We acknowledge that growth is with us right now. But in the future, it's going to be important to hold on to the gains that we've accumulated over the years. And that means you need to own companies with flexible balance sheets that are able to withstand tougher times certainly more difficult times than we've had the last few months as far as the stock market's concerned. You know, we were talking, Kevin, last hour about some of the names that are down big, Bed Bath & Beyond, Stitch Fix, Allbirds, and the price action a little bit more constructive if you talk to some traders about them lately. But, you know, aside from the fact that they're small, why aren't these newer names more interesting to you, given that some of them have had 80 plus percent declines? Yeah. So so when we look at a company, we look at the, the whole company, including debt. And to us, as we've gone through the cycle and we don't see the pandemic uh, recovery as the reboot of a new cycle, it's a continuation of an old one. So we need to be very careful here and circumspect about what we own. So we've moved up the quality spectrum. And the only kind of companies we want to own at Washington Crossing are going to be the ones that are going to be able to stick it out through tough times. So I don't know all of those companies you just mentioned, but if they're not, if these companies are not capable of, of maintaining forward momentum in a rising market, you'd have to wonder what kind of pressure they would be under if financing conditions tightened up. So be very careful with companies that have a lot of leverage or are not going to be flexible enough to get through tough times. I think ultimately you can make money and create alpha by following that strategy rather than chasing low-quality companies or companies with extraordinary valuations. I guess, Kevin, the only question to ask now is, not many people would have thought 2021 was a year of easy times when those names you know, would have outperformed. Obviously, not all of them did. But what if this is not the year, the kind of year that you're anticipating? What if it turns out to be a much better one, a, one where risk outperforms the riskier stocks do? Yeah. Yeah. So at Washington Cross, we have it. We have what we call a barometer, and what the barometer does is keeps us straight on the straight and narrow. And that it, what it's doing, it's looking at all sorts of high frequency data that comes in, and that barometer today is positive. Now, throughout 2021 and most of 2020, it was significantly positive, but it's come down and now is just modestly positive. So if we saw a downturn in the data and it was measurable and identifiable and it showed up in our barometer, you can rest assured that we would be taking off risk in our top-down portfolios. And then in our bottom-up equity portfolios, it's either going to be about high quality or in some cases where we can't find things to buy, we simply will default to cash and wait for better opportunity. Wow. All right. And again, you mentioned them, but I'll repeat Pfizer, TJX, 3M, Oracle. I think you also mentioned Target, all examples of the yes. kind of company you are looking for today. Kevin, thanks. We appreciate it. Thank you. Good to see you both. You too, Kevin Karan.